Well, here's what I've noticed. Children respond very well to biblical preaching as well, to hearing God's Word. When people quit our church because they can't handle the preaching or they don't desire the preaching of God's Word, they desire something a little shallower, a little lighter, it's not the children that want to leave. You know what I've noticed is that usually when families begin to attend our church, the children usually love our church. And a lot of children have, have even come up to me and said to me, you know, I like this church better. You know, I really like this. I like the preaching here. And what's funny is that I'm preaching the King James Version up here. I'm turning to some difficult passages. I'm turning to Lamentations 4, Amos 8. You know, I'm turning to some rough passages in the Bible. You know, we're preaching through Jeremiah on Wednesday nights. But you know what's funny is that even just in the last few weeks, a child said, I like Faithful Word Baptist Church because I understand the preaching. I understand it. You know, children, they're, they're more pure. They haven't been as tainted by this world and as corrupted by this world. And they desire the truth. Amen. They desire God's word. They desire true biblical preaching. And they enjoy it and they learn from it and they like it. It's the adults that sometimes get backslidden and corrupted and disgruntled and disillusioned. And they, they, they lose that hunger for God's word. They, 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 and, and they won't even get it to their children. Look at 1 Peter chapter 2 in the New Testament. Flip over to 1 Peter chapter 2. But not only children physically, because I, I was just mentioning how young children, they actually like Bible stories, they like preaching, they like to hear God's word. But not only that, spiritual babes, babes in Christ, meaning brand new believers, they also like hard preaching. They also love to hear the Word of God. And they, they just eat it up. They soak it up like a sponge. Whereas the ones who can't handle the hard preaching and don't want to hear the heavy doctrine from the Word of God are usually the backslidden Christians that have been saved for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and they're backslidden. It's never the young, brand new believer who just got saved last week that can't handle the preaching. It's the moss back deacon you know, who's been in the church 30 years that just, ah, his preaching is too much, too hard, you know, too, too much, too, too deep, too, uh, too zealous, too, you know, too fiery or whatever. Boy, the new believer, I can't even tell you how many times I've won somebody to the Lord and got them on hard preaching and they just loved it. The new believers love it. I mean, that's why, that's why, you know, when, like I said, and, and I, I just want to say this again because I was just in San Antonio. But when I was in Fort Worth, when I was in San Antonio, most of the people I talked to, hey, I've been saved for six months. I've been saved for three months. I've been saved for eight months. Well, the church there in San Antonio has only been around for 11 months. So most of the people there are, you know, new believers. And, and even when I asked for a raise of hands this morning, how many have been saved for less than five years, right? Let me ask you tonight. How many of you have been saved for less than five years? Put up your hand. Look around. How many of you have been saved for less than two years? Put up your hand. Yeah, see, we've got a lot of young Christians in the Lord, and they love preaching. They love, they want to grow. They want to get in a church like this. They are hungering and thirsting for righteousness. They shall be filled. And then we've got a bunch of Christians who've been saved for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. They, they, they've just, they've let the fire die. But the children, they crave the Word of God. They're hungry for the Word of God. But sadly today across America, literal physical children and babes in Christ are hungering for the Word of God. And they go to church and they get one Bible verse and a lot of blah, blah, blah. They're not getting fed. They're not being filled. Look what it says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Be like a newborn babe. Be like that little child who hungers and thirsts for the word of God, that wants to hear God's word. 